I'm going to go over another kitchen appliance. This is a real simple one. This is a coffee pot. This is Espoli is the brand. More than likely there's a number of different brand names that might have the same design. Um, this is a single pot. It has the ability, as you can see from these buttons over here, this is for the like a K-cup and this is for ground coffee. Uh, you want to make sure that you use a medium ground coffee, don't use fine. Uh, the reason for that is, as I'll show you in a minute, um, this is the little tray up in the top here for you to add water. It has increments on here, 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, and 14. I don't know why it jumps from 10 to 14. I don't know of anything in here that tells me that there's a 12. So what I do is I just put it between the 10 and the 14 for my 12 ounce cup of coffee. This is the tray, the, the little door here to open up. This is the little diverter that turns the direction of the water um, for when you're doing this filter basket. This is the filter basket. The reason you don't want to do a fine ground is because your fine ground is going to go through this mesh filter here and you're going to get some fine grounds in your fine cup of coffee. Um, it has an indicator on here. The bottom line here is the max. That's a, just about two, um, that's just about two tablespoons. I think the tablespoon is the bigger one. Um, so I've got a scooper here, and if I do two of these, then it fills it up to the max. Now I like my coffee stronger, so this kind of presents a weird, um, issue. If I want to put three, it's going to go over the max. And if I go over the max, what happens is the water fills up inside here so much that the water rises up to the bottom of this piece of plastic and goes around the plastic. If it goes around the plastic over the top of this filter basket, for instance, it's just going down through into the cup, which is what's underneath here where my finger is, and that's just dripping the water down into my coffee mug. So if it overfills, it's going to drain, it's going to spill over and drain the coffee grounds into my coffee mug. So that's an issue with going over max. That just means if you're used to a stronger cup of coffee and you're usually putting in three scoops like I was, and you drop down to two, your coffee's gonna be weaker. So you have an option, what you can do is you can uh, put your two scoops in and run less coffee. Um, maybe even run two, instead of doing 112 with two scoops, uh, run a six ounce with two scoops and then run the six ounce with two scoops again. Um, you know, you have to figure out your preference on that. That's just personal preference, but I just wanted to bring that up. This is very easy to use. Put your coffee in the filter basket, put the little cap on top, close the lid. You've got your water filled to the des desired level that you want your water filled to. And then you're either gonna, in this case, because we have the filter basket in the pot, uh, we're going to only do the ground. You don't run this on the, the little capsule, which would be the typical K cup uh, that you'd find online. You're going to have to, you're going to want to run this on ground. Now I don't even, I don't have any K cups and I'm not, I haven't purchased any K cups or tried this in the K cup setting before. Um, typically if I'm at a workplace, usually they're using K-cups and not ground coffee, but here at home, I've got my specific ground coffee that I like. There's a little tray in the bottom here. This is a stand for the coffee cup to sit on. And so if your coffee cup drips over a little bit, it'll go down through these grooves and into this tray in the bottom, which is easily taken out. So if you need to, you can take the excess coffee and dump the excess coffee out. So. It's also kind of cool if you have a mug and your coffee mug won't fit with this in there you can take this out and just put the coffee mug in the bottom so it gives you a little bit more room but I'm just gonna set up the water on this and I'm gonna set up the coffee on this and I'm gonna get the little K cup insert out and I'll show you once I have this ready for a cup I'm gonna go ahead and run a cup right now once I have the cup ready I'll um, continue the video so I wanted to show you, this is the little K-cup holder. So the little K-cup holder, little capsule holder, 
Uh, it's got the little puncture needle in the bottom, just like you see on all the um, Keurig machines. There's a little puncture needle in here that punctures the bottom of the K-cup. So the K-cup just fits in this little holder here. That goes in in the same place that I showed you earlier where the filter basket goes. Now on this one, um, you don't use you don't use this top here. It's got the little screen in there that that pours the water out because up at the top here, that's the top needle that's going to puncture the top of the the capsule or K cup. So this is going to come down and puncture the top and press this into this, which is going to press it into the needle in the bottom. Like I said, I haven't used this. This actually sits up in the cabinet because I'm not using it. But now I've got my coffee grounds. As I mentioned before, I did two scoops. Um, there are two there are tablespoons, and you can see I'm right at the max at the bottom there. You can see the line that it shows on there at the bottom, so that's where the max is. The max is not the top of the plastic, the max is underneath. So I've got the I've got the coffee grounds in there. I'm gonna put the cap on it, close the lid. I've got my water as I mentioned, I kind of put it halfway between the 10 ounce and the 14 ounce step. You can see the number 14 right there at the top on the right, I believe. Let's see. There it is. 14 ounce, 10 ounce, 8 ounce, 6 ounce. So I've got it kind of halfway between the two steps is what I set it on. Got my coffee mug I'm going to put in here to catch my coffee as it comes out. And I'm just going to hit the start on here on the ground. Now the light blinks to let you know it's starting up. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the heaters to turn on, which you can hear now. It's going to pull the water in, heat the water up, send the water through eventually. Through the top here comes from the reservoir. Through the top, there's a hose in the top of here. It's going to come out of that needle, go into that little drip screen cap through the filter basket, and then out the bottom right here into the mug. Turn this around here so you get this little, little bear on here. A buddy of mine gave that to me a number of years ago because we drank coffee together at the coffee machine in the morning. It's a good friend. Gives you a bear mug. Now I don't have this time, so I'm not sure what the period of time is now. While this is dripping, I do want to show you while it's dripping what the water looks like as it comes out because when it starts all the all the coffee is down in the bottom of the filter basket but what happens is the water pours out through that cap through those through that mesh through that hole those holes at the top it pours out and over time it kind of just drains straight through the filter basket so what happens is instead of all the coffee being bunched up at the bottom it wet the coffee starts getting wet and the coffee spreads out to the side walls so that there's kind of a hole in the middle and the water from the top is just shooting through the middle and isn't getting into the coffee. I'll show you that when I open this back up once this cup runs and you'll see what the coffee grounds look like inside the filter basket. Uh, to me this is something I'm not sure exactly what they would have had to do to change the design. I believe it has to do with that cap. If that cap didn't have just holes right in the middle but if it had multiple little um, cups where there were the holes in it to where the the water just dripped in multiple places instead of just dripping from the center I think that would probably fix it so in the time that I've used this I believe that's probably the one thing that I would say would be a good design upgrade now it's starting to put the water through the filter basket, the water's starting to drip out, you can see the water's nice and brown so you know that it's going through the coffee grounds and pouring through the coffee here. It's going to start filling up my mug. I want to, hopefully you can see this as this is dripping. It's just going to be less brown over time and eventually towards the end 
it just looks clear. Now you can see it's almost starting to go clear. And at this point, it's pretty much clear. So what I do is I just, I'm trying to tap the coffee back down to the bottom of the filter basket, get a little bit more coffee through it, get the water through the coffee instead of just the clear water dripping. Now you can see that's just clear water. It's literally just filling up the rest of the cup with clear water. So, when I open up the top once this is finished, I can hear it's kind of motors winding up a little bit, the water's starting to drip less. Eventually this will turn off. You won't hear that running anymore. And it'll let you know that the coffee's done. It doesn't beep or anything. The light goes out and you just hear the motor stop running. So it's, it's done now. Now I always unplug this just for... I don't know, some kind of weird safety feature. And then there's things that heat up in here, and I don't want something that heats up in the house just sitting here on all the time. So I just unplug it. Generally, I'm also kind of moving around the counter too, but all the water's been pulled out now. And this is the top tray here. So as I mentioned, the water's coming out of this needle here, and it's going through this little cut part in this cap. Now inside here is what I want you to see, and that's that all the coffee has spread to the walls. You can see that in here. The coffee is up against the walls all the way around, and it's there's almost no coffee at the bottom. So what's happened is... Um, it's just pushed all the wa all the, the water has pushed the coffee up against the wall so the water that's going in from this needle is just going straight through the little bit of coffee that's at the bottom and that's why over time the water just runs clear now you noticed when I lifted this a second ago I lifted this up and you heard a, you you could hear a bunch of water dripping down um, that's because there's kind of water that's trapped on the side of this where this touches where the bottom of the filter basket actually touches inside here. Um, when I pull this up it lets the remaining water out. I don't know I don't know if it's kind of like stuck like it's kind of vacuum sealed itself but I just take this immediately and just kind of knock this around in here to get the coffee to the bottom and then I just use like half a piece of paper towel and go and toss the grounds in the trash. I go ahead and right here where this uh, cup areas in the bottom I just use a paper towel and just wipe this out because sometimes it's just got some coffee ground build up what you can do is clean the filter basket out and put the cap back on here and then fill this up with water and run straight water through here and that's going to clear the bottom of that cavity out um, that I was mentioning where the coffee grounds build up but now I can take my coffee mug out and add my preference in coffee creamer and I've got a cup of coffee now that's good and hot uh, we were using a dripper for a while you can see the dripper in another video that I've done a product review on and the dripper seemed like over time it accumulated so much coffee uh, grounds in the filter um, the dripper itself this comes out clean once I if you saw in the beginning of the video, you know, now it's covered in coffee grounds, but this comes out really clean. For whatever reason, that dripper just wouldn't come out clean, so it would take so long for the water to go through the dripper to get into the mug that by the time you actually went to go drink your coffee, your coffee had cooled down some. So this is a nice piping hot cup of coffee. You can see the steam rising off the cup of coffee, so you know you're good to go. So it's time to enjoy a cup of coffee, so I'm going to finish this video up. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. Again, this is the Espoli um, single cup, single serving coffee machine. Uh, it does have the ability to do the K cup and the grounds, which is a nice feature. Um, I've mentioned everything I can think of. If you have any questions, just mention it in the comments below the video. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share the video, share the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to watch.